I'm Marisa Christian with Ivy Times TV. I am currently sitting inside a life-size replica of a blue whale heart at the American Museum of Natural History, and we're about to take a sneak peek at their new whale exhibit to learn a little bit more about these creatures of the deep. Whales, Giants of the Deep opens at the American Museum of Natural History on March 23rd, and the exhibit transports visitors to the stunning underwater world of the mightiest animals on Earth. The new exhibition highlights whale evolution, biology, diversity, and whale conservation. By the mid-1900s, commercial whaling left many whale populations severely depleted, as Europe and America actively hunted whales for their rich blubber. It, this is a truly amazing exhibit that, that helps bring everything together as a whale 360, if you will, talking from the evolutionary history to the diversity of whales that are in today's oceans and once existed in around the world, to how we study whales, to the connection with humans that nearly brought them to the brink of extinction and their value to certain human cultures. And today, after the cessation of commercial whaling, whales still face a number of threats in key habitats, these biologically important habitats where they breed, where they feed. And, and we're not, you know, we're not there yet. Some whale populations are recovering really well and we monitor those, and others are recovering more slowly and others aren't recovering at all. So we still have more to do as whale conservationists and scientists in order to protect their most important habitats and mitigate threats that are happening today and even emerging threats like climate change that we don't know how those will affect their, their prey and the distribution of the food resources that they so depend upon. While much is known about whales and their ancestors, there is still a lot to learn and new discoveries are being made every day. Have there been any exciting whale discoveries recently? Uh, there's discovery going on uh, all the time and one of the interesting things about this exhibition is it gets to take advantage of uh, discoveries over the last couple of decades that show many of these transitional fossils uh, going from uh, land ancestors to specialization uh, in the oceans. So those fossil discoveries are interesting. There's new DNA data that tell us that um, whales are related to hippos. So people just think, well, whales are whales. Dolphins and porpoises, they're in the water, but who are they related to within mammals? We now know it's hippos and then more distantly, uh, animals like sheep and deer and antelope and pigs. Whales are mammals like us, and their ancestors used to walk on land. But some 55 million years ago, whales evolved to live in the sea. This, this exhibit brings together uh, a view of whales 360, if you will. And it starts with the evolution of animals on land into the sea. And in this exhibit, you have some of the earliest fossils of whales showing the transition from their ancestors that once lived on land and the anatomical features that brought them into the sea. And some of these these, these skulls and fossils that are here are one of a kind. They're the only ones that exist from extensive paleontological expeditions and research conducted by the American Museum of Natural History and their colleagues. And to have them and to see these fossils that are millions of years old is just a real treat. Wales features more than 20 skulls and skeletons, including many rare specimens, on tour from the Museum of New Zealand Te Papa Tongarewa. So you don't normally collaborate on exhibits like this. What made you decide to do it for this? Yes, uh, we usually produce our own exhibits because we can then send them around the world to other places. And of course, that's good for our own mission, but also we get some revenue from that. On the other hand, when we see something really special, we, uh, we, we say, let's take it on. And there was no question. I saw this exhibit in Chicago and came back with a decision that we should really do it and uh, I'm so delighted to see how beautifully it turned out. New Zealand is home to the Maori people, whose mythologies and histories are deeply tied to whales. The day IB Times TV got a sneak peek of the new exhibition, the senior curator of Maori from Te Papa, New Zealand, explained the relationship between the Maori tribe and whales, why it's important to carry on Maori traditions, and even bless the exhibit space with a traditional Maori song. Why do you think it's important for children here in New York and tourists from around the world to learn about whales and your people? Um, aside from the fact that whales are an important part of our, ecolog our ecology and our system environmentally, I think children need to understand the part and the role they have to play in conserving our natural environment, starting with the smallest of our creatures on the planet as well as our largest. And just because they're so big, we may assume that they can take care of themselves, which of course they can't. They need our help and they need us to remember that the sea is their home. While there are many fun interactive spots in the whales exhibit, it's clear that the life-size replica of a blue whale heart is the main attraction. And you said you've been in the huge whale heart? 
Yeah, it's a, one of my favorite pieces there. I, I'm kind of a kid at heart, and so I just climb into every, everything that they've got. So I managed to get into that giant blood vessel, and I was a little bit worried about whether I'd get out or not. Well, the kids are enjoying it, and your exhibit's amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Wales Giants of the Deep runs from March 23rd to January 5th, so you have all summer to come learn about these fascinating marine mammals.